How about in one more video? Yeah. One more video. Just for the day. I already recorded two more, I mean four of the videos before this. <laughs> Including some other game. You'll see. Oh my. All right. Now let's move it over here. Come on, Luther. Help me push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Oh. Kind of letter. We can't slack off, Luther. Not if we want to push the log into the waterfall. Cool. I just had a brainstorm. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. Brainstorm. <laughs> this letter I got in the mail is interesting. Lots of numbers. Too many numbers. Saber gets really weird mail sometimes. Uh, let's see where they go. Oh my! Lots of stuff to click on here. <laughs> Let's see where this leads. Oh wow, what's a theater? Ooh, lots of acts on here. Freddie, do you know how to become a performer in Rosie Pearl's world famous luau show? No, Rosie. How? Oh. Practice, practice, practice. It's a kebab. Let's hear it! Show them that you love them! <laughs> 
They say musical theater is very dramatic. Actually, never mind. Interesting. I don't want to know what that was. Hmm. I guess you don't like that one. That's show business, my friends. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh, nice illusion. Well, that was interesting, I guess. <laughs> We can get the sail. Monsieur Pierre, do you think you can mend our sail for us? 
Oui, oui. Now observe, mere mortals, as the great Pierre creates from the tattered rag the nautical fashion statement. <laughs> voilà, c'est fini. Fini. Well, he said to say it. Sheesh. He said it's done in French. <laughs> Gosh, Pierre, I just want to say. You are going to say that watching Pierre at work was the greatest thrill of your little green life, no? Ah, brother, when it comes to tuning his own horn, this guy is a one-man brass band. A shim sham jimmy jam clapper gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Right o, Freddy! <laughs> Yikes! It ain't the th I got a golden pipe! I don't care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Soggy can sniff out the thief. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find the conch shell so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. <laughs> Aw. All right. Let's do this thing for the fish. I wouldn't do that. 
I wouldn't take that if I were you. This isn't good. Hey, you can see it says humongous on here. <laughs> so, it looks like an Aztec calendar. Yeah, it seems we stumbled upon an Aztec calendar under the sea. Now that's something you don't hear every day. I'm worried about old Saki. I sure hope he's okay. It looks like we have no choice but to go through that door to find the key. This keyhole sure looks useful. Oh my. Uh, how are we gonna do this? It's the key! I'm not sure if it's as easy as we can take it. I don't like that light. Light? Oh. Nothing in this place is as easy as it looks. That certainly is an odd looking hole. Hmm. I'll bet we'll have to give that statue a gem or something. Huh. Well, I have a feeling I need the green one. Oh, green like Luther! But I don't want to be like Luther and set off another trap. Oh, I've got to try everything to get Luther out. Well, it looks like we'll need to... I can't break this crystal off with my bare fins. Now this is a puzzle. What is this? It's a chisel! I should hold on to this. It might come in handy. Hey, maybe we can use that chisel to get that gem out. Or jewel, or whatever it is. A chisel could loosen that crystal. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. We got it. Yippee! 
I got it. Now let's go save uh, Luther. Gosh, uh, Rosie Pearl, you're the thief. Ah, that could have been anybody's microphone in that bag. You ain't got nothing on me. Oh, no, cool. Okay, so maybe you do have something on me. I confess, the great conch shell is a real crowd pleaser. I figured I could have a full house every night if I used it in my show. Maybe, but stealing the conch made everyone else unhappy. It's selfish to do something you want when it hurts other people. And it's just plain wrong to steal. I acted like a second-class entertainer. I am sorry. Here it is. The great conch show. Uncle Blenny. We're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. Oh, and old Soggy. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand, exalted keeper of the conch. <laughs> Rosie was convicted of violating Penal Code 682 for wrongful conchnapping. She was sentenced to 4,231 hours of public service helping humor impaired fish to be funny. Case closed. Eh, that was cool. <sighs> yeah. See you next time, folks. Yeah.